Hey guys, welcome to another commentary done by Diggity. Upper left hand corner, we have Zen starting as the brown Protoss. Upper right hand corner, we have Megalisk starting as the red Zerg. This is going to be on Vermeer, which I don't remember if I did a view of this map or not, but you've got the natural expansion there. You have the third nearby that has some, like a wide choke from the south, but kind of a mini choke that's kind of defending out towards the natural regardless, and some cool ramps across the middle. I actually, as far as like a standard style of map, this is my favorite style of standard style of map, where there is kind of a the spoke thing going on out in the middle, so you can get some interesting engagements. I think when there's like two or three spokes, it just makes for more interesting play overall. I'm actually thinking of pre and replay day I did recently of Ultimate Stream and looking at that map and what a crazy map that is. But I don't know, it just makes more fun. Anyway. Zen putting a pylon down on the front. Looks like it is going to be Forge first because he's drawing that probe back. Overlord making its way bottom right for Megalisk. So who do we got left? So Nesh advances. We dropped Keen in the previous game. Between these two, I don't know who to favor because Zen was going aggressive against Whip. Oh, never mind. He is going to go gateway first. So popping down the gateway, which... Knowing Megalisk, yeah, Megalisk opened up 12 pool, or sorry, over pool. Let's see if Sen gets a scout. I think this scout could be could be huge. So seeing no overlord at the, at the nine o'clock location, looks like he's going to turn around and scout upper right. So is probably going to be able to see this in time. But regardless, he's going to have to play defensively with those zealots initially. Megalisk, in the meantime, making his way across, is going to come across, well... So sees the probe, is he gonna continue the path? Yeah, he's gonna continue the path. And he's gonna scout top left first, so he's gonna know precisely where to send those Zerglings. Hiding that drone to the top corner so he doesn't have to worry about harassment on that natural expansion. And Zen moving in just in time to at least see two Zerglings being produced. So it doesn't look like it's gonna be the, the full grouping. Megalisk upon seeing the gateway should definitely produce some additional. Yeah, now he's gonna go ahead and drop some additional, and the drone going ahead and distracting this zealot. Actually, with a decent amount of micro and, like, harassing towards that natural expansion and making it so it's harder to get that gap established, the drone could get a lot accomplished. It looks like instead it's just going to draw back. And Megalisk, being the aggressor that he is, is just going to move all of his zerglings straight towards the natural expansion. This drone is just going to go catacorner, bottom right. Maybe try, try to plop down a hatchery there already. The Zealots have a lot of territory to try to defend. The Zerglings can go ahead and either attack the gateway or try to run through. There are two probes trying to blockade the ramp behind that. But there's a pylon to defend, a gateway to defend, and a lot of territory in between. And Zen at some point needs to sneak down a probe. And needs to be careful in the positioning of these Zealots. So, does have the advantage right now. Three Zealots. Ooh, he's going to pop down a Nexus before he even gets the front door sealed. Very risky. The probe trying to blockade along the way as more Zerglings move across. Is that drone? Is that probe? Yeah, the probe still survives. Really? <clears throat> the Zerglings now walking through. Some of them losing their lives. Doesn't look like a lot accomplished. So, blockade there. Now working on that pylon on the front a little bit. Zergling speed is not being upgraded because the extractor has not yet been planted. This probe making its way back, severely damaged. And really, uh, Megalus having some opportunities to make things happen. These three probes have been pulled off the line the entire time, but Zen defending well. It looks like Megalus is going to go ahead and grab the natural expansion the bottom right-hand corner behind this to go into three-hatch play. A later gasp being grabbed, so I wouldn't be shocked if this is going to be a follow-up 973 play, knowing Megalisk. Now that for forge on the front, and as soon as there is a cannon, that should be uh, plenty. That gap, that zealot kind of deceptively hit in there. I think Megalisk didn't see him as well, so trying to sneak up there. Poking away at this, there's now four zealots on the front. This is where Megalisk has to play very, very carefully with those zerglings, because if he ends up losing too many zerglings, that will open up a counterattack on his front. The first cannon Warping in to completely seal that defense. Lair, about one-third finished for Megalisk in the meantime. So he is going to at least... So it looks like this might just be three hatch mutal play. Zen in a pretty good position overall to cope with it. He's been a little bit lax on the probe production. 
where Megalisk has been pretty greedy with the probe production, it looks like he is starting to produce a lot of drones behind this. So in a pretty good economic position, going to turn back around without speed. Ooh, losing a lot of health and expending a lot of Zerglings. And that means Zen with these five Zealots can now march up and challenge potentially the natural expansion. Some Zerglings, and that's going to force a lot of Zerglings to be constructed. Lair is up, Spire being built. We do have a Stargate behind this. But the Zealots are going to be here well before Mutalisks are in play. There's no Sutton Colony, so it's just going to be a Zergling defense. And they're going to mix, yeah, disrupt some of that drone play. So Zen getting some good economic damage. So completely flooding out a well-saturated base as well. The Zealots doing some pretty good micro to march back to try to get favorable distance. Some nice drone drilling, though, by Megalith back and forth across the Zealots to disrupt their AI. So cleaning it up without, I don't think, any drone kills. So he's in a decent economic position. Looks like the first Corsair being built. Spire about two-thirds finished. That Corsair could take out an Overlord if he can get to it in time, but that Spire is not going to be not that far behind. <clears throat> Zergling stream to the front. There's plenty of Zealots to go ahead and blockade this, though. And a fourth hatchery being dropped by Megalus. So Megalus actually moving towards more standard play. Oh, he's going to do that burrow research thing. That's the second time I've caught that by accident on Megalisk. So maybe going to try to do a sneaky burrow attack. Or actually, I kind of like the concept of having burrowed Zerglings out on the map to keep track of Zealots. Or to keep track of Corsairs and Zealots and their movements. That could be a clever play as well. And also to deny expansions if they just move up and go ahead and burrow there. Looks like they're getting a position to do so, potentially. So basically, behaving like mines would. Corsair able to confirm that there is a Spire there. Ugh, it's wiped out immediately, though. Evolution Chamber, fifth hatchery. Is that correct? One, two, three, four, five. Yes, fifth hatchery. So it's going to be a transition, I assume, to... Well, see if it sticks to five hatch. Mutalist for the short term, but this is going to be long term into Hydalus because we have that Hydalus den and that plus one weapons being researched, double creep colony being dropped, but not morphed bottom right. Yeah, groups of Zerglings <clears throat> burrowing on the front. I kind of want to. Plus one weapons also being researched. Yeah, Zerglings just burrowing. I wonder if that was in view of Zen. So, going to see the Zelts move out. This is where I would have loved to see them. Yeah, now unburrow, try to get the run by. Gonna get the cannon and maybe some probes. Probes pulling off the line. So both cannons down. But the probes sufficient to go ahead and wipe everything else out. So just costing two cannons. The Zelts with their leg speed and plus one weapons now marching out. But they're not going to find a lot out here that's exposed. And it looks like they might just get taken out midfield. Actually would have loved to see those Zerglings instead utilized to just kind of provide some blatant vision because the observer comes out so late for Protoss in these sort of builds. But anyway, <clears throat> that's just my own side thing. I almost feels like that might be worth it too. Two sump colonies at the natural expansion. Not going to be sufficient to stop these elves from marching in, at least getting a drone kill, two drone kills. The Mulus. However, not turning back, they're going to go ahead and engage on the opposite side, being pushed back by the Corsairs. So a little tit for tat on both ends, but I think Zen got the better of that exchange. The Zealots marching back around. A lot of Zerglings produced to potentially engage. There are three something colonies. The natural, or sorry, the main hasn't been grabbed in that bottom right-hand corner yet. More photon cannons warping in to go ahead and negate that Zealot threat. A slew of gateways dropping behind this. And we do have plus one weapon on these Corsairs. And the Corsair fleet is growing, and there hasn't been a lot of Mutalisk as a turnaround. And so, considering how few Hydralisks I'm seeing out, this could turn into a disaster for Megalus shortly, where he's just not able to maintain air control. But he is going to be able to clean up these Zealots midfield. But yeah, these Mutalisks, honestly, I don't know that they're long for life, and I don't see the speed upgrade for the Overlords either. So as soon as Zen 
wants to turn around, he might be able to obliterate the air, but he needs to get something done rapidly, because right now, well behind in supply, which is usually bad news. So he's got the five Corsairs. He invested in them heavily. Actually, looks like he accidentally trapped... Oh, he intentionally trapped that probe to get better micro out of it. Archon out there as well with the Zealot grouping. And now has a little bit of a bully force he can run, but there's a big grouping of burled Zerglings that are looking for a backstab behind this. There's three cannons, however, behind everything else. And yeah, now the Corsair is hunting down this Mutalisk army. I think Zen can comfortably take this third, but Megalisk is actually even in supply overall. A lot of this is in burled Zerglings, though, that aren't really doing anything for him. Finally getting some Hydalisks out. <clears throat> and unfortunately, I don't feel like... So Zen has those Corsairs. He has the plus one weapons. But I don't feel like he struck enough damage with either of them to really justify their cost. In the meantime, Scourge and Mutalisk diving in going to wipe out that cannon. The Corsair is now sweeping in. One of them wiped out very, very rapidly. So Megalith, with a big production of Mutalisk, is able to wipe out production at the main. But the Mutalisk is going to get completely obliterated. In turn, the Corsair, four of them chasing them down, and there's a lot of weak Mutalisks that could very rapidly die. Zero, the Zerglings unburrowing as that's happening to go ahead and deny that third. The Archon pinned into a wall. <laughs> Got a counter burrow. Is this Zergling going to burrow to go ahead and deny this? So the... No. So didn't burrow in time to deny that. The Corsair is going to return. It doesn't look like they... I don't think they got the Mutalisk skills. Yeah, the Mutalisks were able to get back home. So the Zerglings threatening enough to go ahead and deny that third. Pick off a High Templar. Nice play there from Megalus. He's really making these Burrow Zerglings strong. And again, yeah, because of that delay of that robotic facility, this is very, very annoying. Very annoying. And now you've got a bunch of Hydalisks out in the map. Very ne near even supply. Even worker count. Megalisk in a strong position to take this game. One Overlord down, putting Megalisk in the red, but honestly is enough of attack force to potentially press up, wipe out the army that's sitting here, especially if Psystorm doesn't land. He's just gonna, he's just gonna burrow in. With, I love this. So push in with all those troops, try to drop a cannon to make it happen, but Hydralisks are now engaging. They have plus one weapons. And I don't think they have range upgrade, however. The Corsair is joining ahead of it, taking some damage, and the Mutalisks... Where are the Mutalisks? Looks like the Mutalisks must have gotten taken out to the south, engaging the rest of this army that's pretty anti-air. Maybe run into that Archon, but I think that's mostly Zergling kills. So Megalisk right now doing a great job of now getting a fourth base. is pretty well saturated on his three bases and is denied this third to Zen for, for what feels like infinity time. And I still don't see finally an observer being built to deal, to deal with burrowed Zerglings in the mid game. I love this play. I haven't seen it any place else. I like seeing it though. Plus two weapons just about to come online. Lurker aspect also being upgraded. And now Megalisk potentially can go into soft contain mode. Although Zen now as a follow-up has a pretty sizable uh, army to maybe get something happening. The Mutalisks gonna dive back in. There were no replacement cannons and those Corsairs have been whittled down and taken out. So Megalus once again gonna be able to get a lot of pro kills to hurt Zen's economy. Dragoon's gonna mix it up. The Mutalisks thinking better of that attack. It looks like they're just gonna stay there latently. Finally, Observer moves up to force these Zerglings out of Burrow so Zen can finally grab his third, but his main's now gone. Overlord speed is also there. Megalisk very close at even supply. He can start morphing some lurkers here and really make Zen's life difficult. The Mutalisks... Oh, look like they... Ooh, well... Okay, so the Mutalisks take a big Psystorm hit, but the High Templar got picked off and stormed a lot of his own Zealots. So I'm going to call that an even trade right there. Megalisk... Mining out of that bottom right-hand base, tacking on an additional macro hatch, and he can start flooding across the map, and yeah, he's got a scary army. Trying to sweep in. Bunch of cannons and dragoons right there. Zen trying to re-engage to defend. Nice side storm on a bunch of those Hydralisks. Another nice side storm going to obliterate a lot of these Hydralisk lines. And that is going to even things up nicely for him. His economy's been hurting, but just obliterating this attack force. 
With Five Storms and solid engagement, Megalith's not able to find purchase anywhere. The Corsairs die, but I'm not sure they're needed at this stage of the match. However, Zen might be overextending here with another round of units and attacking on the high ground might not be the best engagement point. Megalisk, if he just saturates this bottom right and gets some lurkers out here. Ooh, man, the side have been beautiful from Zen. Yeah, some lurkers starting to move in. There's no overlords alongside to pick off that observer, though. But the Dragoon's starting to get wiped out, and Zen is being pushed back. That third base is just now starting mining. And Megalisk is at four bases, effectively. Observer marching forward to help deal with the lurker threat. There are a lot of Dragoons there, but plenty of Hydalisks to punch through the Dragoons as well. Looks like Zen is going to be able to hold, but he's behind in supply overall, and there's more reinforcements storming forward from Megalisk to go ahead and start sealing him in. That Observer is now going to be at threat. Nice level 2 armor upgrades for Zen, so at least that'll help the troops that he is able to feel, but right now he's boxed in. I don't know that he can defend this third base. He doesn't have troops out there, and that bottom right is starting to saturate for Megalisk. He is going to have to wait for Hive Tech to go ahead and continue that upgrade battle. Observer dying, some High Templar are going to get caught. Going to try to morph to Archon, but then going to call GG, realizing that third was just denied for too long a period of time. Can't keep up economically. So unfortunately, the tournament, the tournament, I have trouble saying that for a second, the tournament organizer is going to be eliminated. Megalisk will continue. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for listening.